Hi, my name is Michael Greenberg and uh, I'm actually a local dermatologist. Um, I came to Core Orthopedics to get my uh, rotator cuff repaired by uh, Greg Drake and I'm, I'm happy I did actually. It was a great decision and I interviewed lots of other doctors before. I, I did a lot of research before I got here. Um, it, it's good and bad to be a doctor in the local area because A, you know all the other doctors and you know, um, you're worried you're going to offend somebody by going, you have to pick somebody out of all the doctors you know. But this was me and this was my shoulder and I, and I didn't, I didn't know, you know uh, reason just to make people happy. So um, uh, I basically spoke to a few other surgeons that I knew that were not orthopedic surgeons and said, who's the best in the area? And without a doubt, the answer was, go see Greg Drake. I also went on the internet and looked at their original website and watched a videotape of what the procedure was, which as a physician fascinated me. It's interesting, you know, a few years ago I had knee surgery and uh, the surgeon who was a friend of mine at the time gave me a picture to show me how rotten my collagen was and I looked at that for about three days and then I had to throw it away because I was getting depressed as I was falling apart. But looking at the videotape on the website really gave me an insight as to what was happening. And uh, of course, being a dermatologist, I had to brush up on my anatomy to figure out what was going on here so I could uh, help my physical therapist and the doctors and, and not do the wrong thing. I think looking ahead to what was going to happen and actually seeing, a, seeing you know, their video of the procedure uh, really helped me. These, these days you have to advocate for yourself as a patient. I don't care how good the doctor is. You have to make yourself informed, but you also have to choose where you get your information from. There's a lot of nonsense on the internet and going to their website or going to a legitimate website to, to inform myself ahead of time was really important. Even asking those kind of questions, what do I need to do ahead of time to prepare myself at home? So I went out and, and I rented a recliner and I knew I needed the ice machine and, uh, for my shoulder and, and lots of other things that, that I wouldn't have thought of had I been going to an institution where it would have taken me 30 minutes to get through to even talk to a nurse. Um, that helped a lot in, in pre-setting up my house because you know the surgery is not just what they do in the operating room. It's, it's when you get home. That's when it really starts. Um, and having all those conveniences, having thought of them at home and working with uh, Ben, the PA here, to answer those questions really made it much easier for me. I think it's important to do research on your physician ahead of time rather than going by just some random choice through the hospital um, because you really have to relate to the physician. There's lots of physicians out there and some, some physicians will spend more time with you, are more caring, and, and I've seen the bigger institutions and what they do, and, and I get patients myself in the office who go to institutions, they say they're treated like a number. Um, I don't want that. I didn't want to be treated like a shoulder, I wanted to be treated as a person. And when I came here, from everybody from the front desk all the way through Greg Drake treated me that way. And I don't think it was because I was a physician, because I have sent lots of other patients here after that, and, and they have the same experience. Um, I'd like to, you know, and, and of course as a doctor, um, I told Greg, you know, don't treat me like a doctor, you know, I'm a dermatologist, I don't know half of what you do. And he did, it was, it was really respectful to, uh, to do that. It's really important when you're choosing a doctor, how you choose one. Patients come to me all the time and ask me for referrals to different physicians. And a lot of times referral patterns are to either friends, their golf buddies, or back and forth, you refer to me, I'll refer to you. I don't do that. I refer places. To do, I refer to do, physicians that I've gone to myself or my family's gone to. And that's why I would never hesitate to recommend core orthopedics um, to my patients, and I do. I'm,